Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you come across an issue on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer with the task scheduler that one or more of the specified arguments are not valid. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd recommend doing would be if you have a specific application or program. So let me just do an example for today's tutorial. You just would go ahead and actually open up the file location for whatever application you're having a problem with. And you would go ahead and right click on the application or file itself and select properties. Select the compatibility tab and then you would check mark where it says run this program as an administrator and then you would select apply and OK and see if that resolves the problem. Something else you want to try here as well, besides doing the obvious step of just making sure the argument is valid, that you don't have any syntax errors, and that your task scheduler text input is correct. Uh, besides doing that, something else you want to look into as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And into this elevated command line window, go ahead and type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's concluded, go ahead and close out of here, and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully at this point, your issue has been resolved. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.